To demonstrate void forms, let's edit this model in place component and turn it into a wine rack. Select the component and open the in place editor. Now, choose to make a void extrusion. This form will cut through our solid form. Next, we can set a work plane, which will be the beginning of the void form. Select pick a plane and choose the face of the solid extrusion. Now we can draw a sketch of the void that we want to create. The void can be made of multiple closed loop sketches. When we are finished with the sketch, we can select properties for this void. Since the solid form is only one foot deep, let's change the void end to be one foot. When finished, select the green arrow to finish the model. Now we can see the finished component, which is a combination of both a solid form and a void form. When satisfied, select the green arrow to exit the in-place editor. Before creating a revolve, we will first make a plane that we will use later in the demonstration. To do this, we will switch to a floor plan and draw a reference plane. The line we are drawing is the edge of the plane which goes into the screen. Let's select this plane and name it Example. Now let's create a model in place component for simple demonstration purposes. We will also give this component the name example. Next, open the revolve tool and set the work plane to be the one that we have just created. Now show the plane and then switch to an elevation view so we are looking straight at the plane. Now, using the drawing tools, sketch the shape that we want to be revolved. When finished, let's sketch the axis line or the line that our profile will be revolved around. Once the profile and axis line have been sketched, we can select the green check mark to create the revolve. We can also select the revolve form and change its properties, for example, its end angle. We can also give it a new material. Now let's experiment with creating blends. To begin, we must create a bottom shape for the form. If we are unable to create the sketch, we may have to change the work plane. Once the base shape is finished, select Edit Top to sketch the top shape.
When finished, select the green check mark to create the form. In a 3D view, we can see that we have created a 3D form by blending together two separate shapes over a specific height. To edit the properties of the form, select it, and we can change its height. We can also give it a new material if we wanted. Now let's create a swept blend. To begin, sketch or pick a path for the sweep. For this example, we will sketch one. The path we create can have as many curves as we desire. However, it can only be made from one continuous line with no sudden changes in direction. Select the check mark to finish the sketch of the path. Now, select a crosshair and sketch an initial shape for the blend. When finished, select the other crosshair and sketch the final shape of the blend. When both the start and end shapes along with the path have been sketched, select the check mark to create the form. This tool blends the initial and final shape together over the selected path. We can also give this form a new material, and remember that each form that we have created can be a void form as well as a solid form.